Rwanda Red Cross Society, RRCS, is a humanitarian organization acting as auxiliary to the public authorities in the humanitarian field and is committed to the prevention and alleviation of human suffering. It takes its operations deep into the community through its 30 district committees and representatives at the sector, cell and village levels. Its activities are aligned to government priorities set under the Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy, EDPRS. They are also a contribution to efforts to attain the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs. Since 2007, the organization's operations have been guided by a five-year strategic plan, 2007 to 2011. Health, disaster management, and orphans and other vulnerable children are among Rwanda Red Cross key programs. As regards to health sector, Rwanda Red Cross educates and mobilizes communities for fighting common diseases by promoting participatory hygiene and sanitation transformation, PHAST, and by assisting communities to access safe water. Comparison between EICV2 and 3 shows that access to improved and safer drinking water sources increased from year to year, 70% to 74% nationally. The Rwanda Red Cross has contributed to this achievement by installing clean water supply systems serving more than 90,000 people in seven districts, namely Gatsibo, Gisagara, Rindo, Chirehe, Gasabo, and Nyanza. This project is very crucial in this region of Mayaga. It was a big problem to find water in this region. When we told people that Rwanda Red Cross would support them getting clean water, they couldn't believe it. You have seen that they have started using it. This source serves about 7,000 people. In different regions, Rwanda Red Cross beneficiaries of water supply projects were relieved of the burden of walking long distance fetching clean water. To find water here was very difficult. We didn't even dream that we can drink clean water. In the health sector, Rwanda Red Cross pays Mutuel Dos Sante, the medical insurance, for a number of vulnerable people and mobilizes communities to voluntary blood donation and immunization campaigns. It ensures socio-economic support and home care assistance to more than 3,600 people living with HIV AIDS. Rwanda Red Cross assisted us in creating cooperatives of people living with HIV, widows and orphans. It gave us pigs for breeding. Today, we have started giving pigs to other vulnerable people. We are no longer the most vulnerable people. Through its Orphans and Vulnerable Children program, OVC, Rwanda Red Cross Society assisted more than 14,000 vulnerable children in seven districts. Thus, these children have so far benefited from this integrated program, which includes education, health, psychosocial protection, housing and income generating activities. Rwanda Red Cross assisted me to pay for school fees. I studied in Etogatum. After the secondary studies, it also paid for me fees for driving and now I have my driving license. I'm today an ambulance driver in Chibirizi Hospital. Life for me is becoming easier and easier because of Rwanda Red Cross assistance. Some former beneficiaries of OVC program are able to assist other vulnerable people. Rwanda Red Cross began assisting me after I completed my primary school. We don't know what we can do to thank Rwanda Red Cross, but we'll give it a gift as a sign of what it did for us. I began assisting the others because I'm no longer vulnerable. Nowadays, I pay my university's fees. The organization started income-generating projects 
projects for 66 OVC associations grouping 1,800 children. Starting the projects alone was not easy. That is why Rwanda Red Cross Society volunteers are always on the field assisting the OVCs. We are assisted in our cooperatives. We cultivate and breed. Rwanda Red Cross staff and volunteers are always near us, advising us. We began getting crops. For one season, we could easily get three times. As a contribution to the government's efforts in the promotion of a sustainable habitat, over the last five years, Rwanda Red Cross, together with its partners, built more than 1,000 houses for vulnerable people. Among others, 358 overseas households acquired decent houses. I thank a lot Rwanda Red Cross because it gave me this house. Both my parents died in genocide perpetrated against the Tutsi in 1994. I was one year old. After getting this house, Rwanda Red Cross accepted to pay for me my school fees. I am now in S4. The support in the housing sector also reached returnees from Tanzania. Rwanda Red Cross built for them 668 houses, 428 in Chirehe district, 150 in Goma, and 90 in Bugesera. I lived in Tanzania for a long time. My husband died when we were still there. I am a widow. When the disorder came, we left having nothing, but we had a lot of things. At the beginning, living in the camp was very difficult. Sincerely, we thank a lot Rwanda Red Cross that assisted us. They told me that it's going to build us houses. I couldn't believe it. Arrived here, I was worried because of lack of water. But now, as you see, Rwanda Red Cross has resolved that problem. Look, I find water myself at home. I don't know how to explain it. I miss good words to thank Rwanda Red Cross. Thank you. As far as disaster management is concerned, Rwanda Red Cross Society focuses on community resilience to disasters through preparedness, risk reduction, response, and recovery. Over the last five years, skilled disaster management volunteers assisted at least 38,916 people affected by natural disasters. My name is Niko Yitwa Apollinaire. I live here, it rained, but we were thinking that it is a normal wind. It rained a lot and there was a strong wind. The roof of my house filled. Today, I have nowhere to live. Fortunately, Rwanda Red Cross volunteers came and wrote our names. They have begun assisting us giving us kitchen sets, jerry cans, sheetings, blankets, mats and soaps. We are now very happy. Rwanda has embarked on a campaign aimed at achieving 30% of forest cover by 2020. Rwanda Red Cross Society has contributed to the campaign by planting more than 1 million trees over the last five years as it works to address root causes of disasters. It was also involved in projects of improving food security by donating cows to vulnerable families. Rwanda Red Cross Society has distributed more than 450 cows, while the number of Rwandans owning at least one cow has gone up to 47% from 34%. The society develops marshlands in areas prone to drought and food shortage. In this regard, 450 cows were donated and 84 hectares of marshlands developed. Among other important services rendered to the community by Rwanda Red Cross, there is restoration of family links. Families separated by armed conflicts continue to be reunited thanks to exchange of the Red Cross messages. 
more than 20,000 Red Cross messages were transmitted over the last five years. For more efficiency, Rwanda Red Cross Society has initiated two new approaches, namely performance contracts, Imihigo, and the model village, Agasozindatkwa. Rwanda Red Cross has also embarked on a journey to improve fundraising initiatives and reduce reliance on external funding. It has set up a new long-term resource mobilization strategies. Ten district branches are able to cover basic administrative costs through development of their own income-generating activities. The Integrated Household Living Conditions Survey, EICV3, showed that Rwandans living below the poverty line declined from 77.8% in 1994 to 58.7% in 2000 and 46% in 2011. The proportion of those living in extreme poverty declined as well from 36.9% in 2006 to 24.1% in 2010. The Rwanda Red Coast Society is happy to be associated with these achievements. Its achievements are due to 32,876 members and 15,000 active volunteers who gave their services to the community by respecting Red Cross values. These achievements would not have been possible if there had not been collaboration and support from the government and other partners of the Rwanda Red Cross. However, there are still challenges including high levels of poverty in some areas, poor hygiene and sanitation, high population density and growth, HIV and AIDS, unsafe water, food insecurity and a great number of orphans and vulnerable households. Nevertheless, Rwanda Red Cross will continue to rely on its members and partners and other people of goodwill in order to achieve objectives set in its 2012-2016 strategic plan at the center of which they are preventing and alleviating human suffering.